Hi, I'm Tom Chapman, founder of the Lions Barber Collective, and I'm here to do another interview about the £1.7 million haircut, this time with the wonderful Lisa Gardner of uh, Wonder Associates and the, uh, the wonderful producer of this film. So uh, thank you for giving us some time today, Lisa, to be part of this. Thank you. No, thanks for having me on. Good. It's a pleasure. Um, I'm just going to run through a couple of questions with you. And I've, the first thing that I've kind of asked, I asked Josh this as well, I think, you know, what it meant for you to be part of this this project, really. How, how, do you, how did you find it? Um, I think it was both humbling and inspiring. Um, I think you won't mind me saying, but when we first met up, um, you really sort of told us like where you were at with the mission um, for the charity and where you told us where you were at personally as well, like how much you've given up to do this. Um, it was just so touching for us. And then when we started to unearth the story and really the injustices for men and for boys that are all around us, um, it just felt like something that I had to get involved with, that I had to um, produce um, with Josh. Um, just something that we had to create a story around and really tell that story um, to everyone that could watch it because it will really change people's view on suicide and on suicide prevention. Okay. I, I, I think it's a, it is a really important film. Um, it's really important for us as a charity, a really quite historic moment. And throughout the film, there's quite a few sort of historic moments for the charity as well, so like different uh different bits of you know, different places that we filmed in and um, i know you and josh have spent loads of time looking at it and watching it over and over again and you know um probably sick of the sight of my face but what was your what do you think your favorite or most important scene is in in the film that it's like you know it's kind of an anchor to it um for me it was just really the people because um for example, if you take like Wes Jones, he's in the film, um, you look at him, he comes across really happy, he's so stylish, he's pretty dapper, he's this really confident I'll talk guy. to him later, I'll let him know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then he reveals this story and you just, your mind just thinks that surely this guy wouldn't have had this experience and it just really comes home that kind of, uh, you should never judge a book by its cover that um, so many people are having and experiencing mental health issues and um, just really resonated with me in terms of why the charity you know why barbers in our communities are so vital um, so for me kind of every scene was special but it was the people's stories that just um, blew you away that just changed your perspective on what it means to do suicide prevention. Yeah, it's a, it's a really interesting film. Obviously, it's very much based around the hair industry because that's our, our charity, you know, the 1.7 million pound haircut. Um, who, who do you think this film's for? Who do you think should be watching this film? Anyone who's got a boy or a man in their life. Um, yeah. It really, it's, you know, it's interesting that it's about the hair industry if you're from that that industry that's really interesting um, but the core of the film is about you know your son your brother your dad your partner the guy that lives next door to you the guy in your office it, it's about all of the men and boys around you and about this hidden injustice the fact that it's the single single biggest killer of young men in the UK is just mind-blowing and so really it's a story that we should all watch and really think about you know the people that are around us and how can we help those people and um, it's just very it's very hopeful it's very inspiring you know when you set out to do a film around suicide you know a lot of people a lot of my friends and family are like oh you know this is gonna be really depressing um, but it, it's not at all you know yes it's very touching there are moments where you do have that lump in your throat um, but overall, it's so hopeful and you just feel so much compassion, but almost so much hope for the future if we were to implement um, the type of um, training um, and the type of communication that the Lions Barber Collective really wants to, to do in the world. 
Yeah, I'd say, so I think it's really important that, you know, like you said there, it's not just about hairdressers and barbers. There is a, there is, it affects everybody, doesn't it, Alan? That's, the, that's kind of what we try to get. And I think I like the fact that you touched on it being um, quite a hopeful, positive uh, story. And I think that's kind of my uh, personal preference in how we, how we attack and, de and deliver the barber talk training and the Lions Barber Collective and, and suicide prevention. I think, you know, it's about making it, um, I know that it's making it less of a less of a taboo, and less of a stigma. But I think if we can have, if something seems very depressing and and all the time, then and a dark subject, people want to stay away from it. I think once we start to break down the boundaries and show stories of hope and show stories of uh, success and recovery, I think you know, I think we've kind of got a really good message there with the with the film. Um, you said that you that you know all the scenes are important. Um, and I think the film's been edited and put together so well. I think it's, it does tell the story and uh, it's got a very, very powerful message in each part of it. But is there any bits, that if we could have had, you know, if we do a director's cut or whatever, is there anything that we, you think was missed out or that you could have liked to have squeezed in or any extra, you know, if we had a you know, bit more budget to film another scene, is there anything extra you think you could put in there? So if we, when we release the DVD with the extras, what, what would be on it? Oh, that's a tricky one. Um... I guess I would, I would like the story to be complete. I would have liked to follow the charity to the point where every barber ha can access this training, where you know we're in a position where we're much more closer to a world free from suicide. Um, yeah. I think you know the film is up to a point. It's showing you know, where you come from, you know, the real struggles of a small charity trying to do a huge job within our communities and across, across the world. Um, and really for me, it's a rallying call. It's a rallying call for people to say, you know, there is another way. There is another way when it comes to suicide prevention. We don't have to do what we've been doing previously. Um, that, um, you know, there's a solution through the Lions Barber Collective. So for me, like, I'd love to have like followed it for like the next few years because I think the change and the things that you all will be doing in that time are going to be incredible. And I think, you know, this film and I think the charity really has the power to sort of change the world and change the world's view on suicide prevention. Oh, fingers crossed. And I, I think that kind of sort of answered really what I want to do for my last question is what do you, what do you hope will come of this film? Um, you know, you're talking about the, what you just said then, but I mean, is there anything you'd like to add to that that you'd hope the response or? Um, I just hope that um, people will watch it, that they won't think, oh, it's about suicide, I don't, maybe they want to watch a film that's about that topic, um, because it's, really, it's a really important film. Um, it, as I said, like it's so hopeful, it's so positive, and it's a funny thing to say when you're talking about a film that's about suicide prevention, but it really is. It's completely eye-opening as well when you, you know, when you understand um, that the cost of suicide, both to families and the community, but the economic cost to it is completely unfathomable. And when you start thinking about that and then thinking about the solutions that are out there, I also hope that it will lead people to really start contributing in positive ways to the Lions Barber Collective and that I hope that they'll put their hands in their pocket and help them <laughs> fundraise. Um, because ultimately, um, if the Lions Barber Collective had you know more funds more resources um, you would be able to spread this message and do this training with barbers all over the world and ultimately like that's your dream and you know we've already seen on a on a scale within this country and within you know a few other countries what that can do and how many lives that can save so if we could roll that out across the world you know it would just make the biggest difference and you could really impact those stats in terms of how many men and you know boys are, are taking their own lives. You know, it's um, it is enormous when you think about it right now. And there's just is a solution here. There's a solution that's on every doorstep in every town and city. Um, and that's that's what I hope. That's what I hope that you know you can edge closer with your mission of a world free from suicide. 
That's the dream. That's the dream. That's the plan. I just want to say thank you ever so much, Lisa, for all you've done, uh, helping us out with the film. We could never have done it with you and, and Josh and the guys at Wonder Associates and all the amazing people that you know, helped donate time or, or give. We just gave it every, that all to make sure we could get this done and get it out there. So, like you, I hope people watch it. I hope people enjoy it. And uh, I hope people appreciate all the hard work that you and Josh and the rest of Wonder Associates put into it. So, just thank you ever so much for, uh, for being part of it. Yeah, you're, you're very welcome. It's been just a real pleasure working on the film. Um, you know, the cast, the crew have, you know, genuinely been the most amazing people to work with. Um, you know, without making your ego too big, Tom, like you are a very inspiring person. Um, you know, and the things that you've taught me and Josh and the rest of our team um, in this process will never leave us. And we're just so thankful to you for what you're doing. So. Uh, keep going. I know it's really hard, um, but you know, yeah, you know. Thank you for allowing us to sort of work with you and to share this story with people. Well, I won't be giving up anytime soon. I'll say that much. Thank you ever so much, Lisa. Um, and I hope you'll watch the 1.7 million pound haircut. You can go over to the 1.7 million pound haircut.com. The one and the seven are numbers. Everything else is uh, is text, um, and you can pre-order there for Vimeo on demand right now. Thank you.